We are started. Don't Hello. worry. We have a we have a full all star cast on this uh, Doug Stanhope podcast with a uh, our, our today's sponsor is Hank Sauce. Oh, loving the Hank got it. Sauce. Oh yeah, here, give me that jelly. Pass that. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, he yeah. broke the chain. Uh, Joby got up. I'm going to pass it anywhere. down. <laughs> oh, sudden so, gust of gravity. So, hey, so Doug, do it, do it clean. Do uh, today's podcast sponsored by today's podcast. But why am I doing this clean? You do that clean. You yeah, got the pipes. That is Mr. Pipes. Just pipe. Today's Hi. podcast sponsored by Hank Sauce. Uh, www.hanksauce.com. Did I do the whole thing? No, that's good enough. Hanksauce.com. See, I got excited just listening to that. Fuck. Yes, uh, <laughs> God damn it! Now I forget her name. Is it Heather something Pell? Hannah Pell? Heather Pell? Fuck. Hey, there's a fourth sauce on is the back here. Fourth kind oh, we haven't tried. Is it? Yeah, we we tried the cilantro camouflage, uh, the camouflage, which I is the hit. Uh, the hot one, which is uh, Hank's heat, but there's also a an herb infused. Ooh. Urban infused? <laughs> Urban infused. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. That's a Chicago said herb? style. Herb? No. I was going to say herb infused, <laughs> but Chicago. that would be wrong. Yeah, herb infused. Urban infused. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, see what I leave for a couple weeks? You guys get good hot sauce. I haven't even tried this. Oh, oh gotta, it's very good. It's really good. It's good on every, every food item, not to be confused with Agua Chiltepin, which you use in Bloody Mary's, also a sponsor. Uh. So Agua Chiltepin, I don't know. Just yeah, figure that out through Google. See if Google says, "Did you mean?" <laughs> <laughs> it took me like a year to stop saying Chipiltepin and put an extra <laughs> syllable in Agua Chiltepin. That's Betty's uh, hot water. It's uh, Chiltepin water. Good stuff. Perfect, Mar- uh, Bloody Mary. Great stuff. So that's that. Uh, we got uh, Chaley here, Chad Shank here, Joby's here hey, with the Joby, uh, hey, upcoming Death Pool. We're starting again. January, it's time. Tom Kanopka's here. And we have a, a Serbian sponsor. <laughs> the Serbian sponsor. <laughs> Later on in the show. Yes, the entire And Tracy's mixing drinks. Bingo's doing her vocal exercises off in the little house. Tracy, Bingo, yay. Watching the door because I don't. The dogs have left me for Tom. Us too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we finally pulled up. We like laid beds down, like the blankets that were my blankets were on the floor for for Henry and uh, Ichabod. And I'm like, I'm just tripping over. I'm going, fuck it. They ain't even coming down. Here. I'm pulling their water bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna hang it out front so they see that there's nothing in it. They so don't gonna, look. No. <laughs> I I've come over in the morning and. Ichabod, will, he'll bark, but then he'll run right in and lay next to Tom's door, <laughs> waiting for him to wake oh, up. Oh, yeah, oh, he, oh. They, I try to bring one of them over because they hate each other as much as they hate me. So usually <laughs> one will go over to the other house, the quiet house where I'm writing, and uh, no, they no interest. We leave at night. Want to come? Want to go for a ride? Yeah, you no. know, last night you were doing it. Come on, Henry. Come on, Henry. <laughs> Nothing. Mm-mm. Nothing. <laughs> Oh, see, you just said that, and Ichabod <laughs> ran over. Oh, crazy. Yeah, Henry was alert as well, right behind <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm feeding them on the side. I think that's all it is. Yeah, it's, uh, I, you They know, just come up, and they just give me the paw. Feed I never me. wanted yeah, either one of you fucking me. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at barking it. We had interlopers today. Uh, what? Bingo really? and I were leaving to uh, go to the wherever, lunch. or and uh, My yeah. favorite place. Ichabod starts barking, and uh, two women, uh, a mother and daughter, were walking in the the, uh, the front. They went right through the gate, didn't even give a shit about Ichabod what? going ballistic. And uh, we were just leaving anyway, and I said, can I help you? And she said, um, are, are, is the comedian guy? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be kidding me. And I'm well, the, uh, and Bingo is not yeah. You know, she has a very short fuse since her accident. For all of us. What? What? Yeah, yeah. for everything. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> but she recognizes us. <laughs> Someone coming into the yard. But I'm saying she doesn't have uh, tolerance, yeah, patience. Sure. It's just tolerance. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, and I'm so I'm trying That's to good. be good cop to her bad cop. Uh, yeah, well, my son is coming down. I think she said he's turning 18. or oh, He's Christ. coming down from Alaska from the 18th to the 31st. And he said the one thing he wants to do when he's down here is to see your show. And she points to her daughter. She said, oh, I know where they live. So, uh, and I go, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm not uh, performing anywhere. Um, why not? <laughs> oh, I said, uh, Jesus Christ. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm working on a, a book right now. And she goes, well, would you do uh, uh, like a special little show? Dance monkey? <laughs> what? what? Dance monkey? Well, obviously dance. has no dance. idea how like comedy an organ works. Grinder. And she was really passionate about, you know, Making her kids, I can wow. drink. I'm, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just really busy. We're leaving. I'll walk you out. Dude, they don't know the laws here. You could have shot those people. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> they don't even know. Well, who knows? She may have had a gun too. <laughs> she didn't know a lot of things. <laughs> she, she, yeah. she, she, she assumed a lot of things walking yeah. into your property. Maybe she thought, uh, "I'll just pack some heat in case he needs a little, uh, yes. you know, a little pats the chest." <laughs> uh, maybe you want to do that little show. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. And then the daughter was after she, mom ratted her out for saying, I know where he lives. Then she looked like she was, uh, fuck, did I, I'm sorry I did this. Yeah, no, she's I couldn't tell. I was uh, pretty hungover today and not in a good headspace. <laughs> Imagine anyway. what an asshole yeah. her son's going to feel like when he hears this. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, mortified. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. So, but he's from Anchorage. So, uh, yeah, go see Becker. And oh, no, no, Becker's away too. Yeah, he was just—he went to Fort Lauderdale. He'll be here next. <laughs> Have yeah. heard from him. Yeah, he texted. He was going to be here. Oh, I can't wait to see Becker. Well, in my over politeness that I always have at those hours, I almost said, "Well, tell him to stop by for football." And him. no, oh. not a fucking chance. Oh, that's amazing restraint. Well, and Bingo's standing next to me going, I'm leaving. I'm leaving now. <laughs> hey, just hang on. Let She's me just just give me a 100%. couple seconds to be polite, meet the neighbors. Yeah. Neighbors? So, you're assuming they live in the... Uh, the daughter did. I said, so you're from the neighborhood? As I was walking them out, they didn't realize I was leaving. I wasn't coming out to see what the dog was barking at. I was leaving when the dog started barking. So. Yeah. Or to perform for them. What the <laughs> yes. fuck? What the fuck? Would you do a little show? <laughs> Tap dance like I'm going to come over to your house and do yeah. comedy? Yeah. Dance I for mean, me, spider. <laughs> comedy is something that people don't really... They just think you're a funny guy and you can just do it. It's not a song. <laughs> I'll, do a f I'll do a few numbers. <laughs> A medley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna be like Ozzy? You're gonna do like just the verse and the chorus of Crazy tra Train, yeah. and then you guys are gonna transition into Over the Mountain. Yeah. Just a little <laughs> snippet of that. Yeah. A little uh, Alistair Crowley. Yeah, there you go. It was awkward to say the least. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. No, no so, request but, for a selfie. Yeah, the daughter's somewhere <laughs> in the neighborhood, and she said, "I live out. I got a million acres out past the Trails Inn, and I that sounds familiar." Trails Inn. That's Where is Nocco that? Highway, I think, mm -hmm. towards the border, I think. Oh, is that the one? The, the two that closed. The two what? Those are the uh, hotels. The one with the Indian restaurant? Yeah. That one closed? They both closed God. and were immediately <laughs> vandalized. <laughs> We were yeah. almost going to eat Yeah, by one. those three idiots. <laughs> You're almost going <laughs> to eat. <laughs> yeah. Close call. Yeah. 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 I think someone ate there. Wasn't it Bingo's parents? <laughs> no. Brett Erickson's oh. parents ate there at the Indian place at the hotel on the way to Mexico. Wow. <laughs> and they shut down. I don't remember Erickson's yeah. parents being here. Uh, you weren't here. Oh, yeah. that, good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, look at that. Off the hook, that one. <laughs> For once, wow. he remembered something. <laughs> Damn. I blew off the dentist today. I woke up in a mood. <laughs> and, uh, well, you got to go to the Mexican dentist yeah, I'm anyway. Mexican so I, I was sure. thinking, yeah, you know what? I called up. Like every other time I go to the dentist, just for a fucking cleaning, I, I have to get an x-ray, which is absolutely pointless. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the last time, and I always bitch about it, and I always use th that analogy. Like I'm here for... Cosmetic reasons. Just get the fucking smoke stains off the ones that you can see. 
<laughs> Why I don't want an X-ray. Well, we have to because the doctor has to never, as you had periodontal disease, and that's all everlasting, like alcoholism. Even if you quit drinking, you always have that. But just well, for years, it's the exact same X-ray. I just want to clean the aesthetic zone. Yeah. Can't you do You're that a with fucking just fucking housekeeper, lady? <laughs> Clean my teeth. I'm not here for a medical problem. I'm here, and I said, again, it's like going to get a haircut, and you need to get a cat scan. <laughs> Every t- two times you get your hair cut. So yeah. I called up this time. I go, uh, do I have to get uh, an X-ray on this appointment? And they go, well, hang on, let me check. And yeah, you're scheduled for one, but you could. You know, technically you're scheduled for one, but you could probably, and I said, I don't want probably and technically. I want definitely no. And she goes, well, I can't make that decision. You're going to have to talk to, and I go, then fucking cancel my appointment. Yeah. And now I go, ah, fuck, I just burned the bridge of the only dentist in town. But I thought, hey, Tom's going to go to Mexican dentistry, and I went down there. I, I'll go with Tom. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Or talk- I'll just suck it up and hope they forget about this incident six months from now and go then. <laughs> you told me about this this morning. And I'm like, on the phone, I go, dude, you just painted yourself into a corner. Because if you go there once a year, then that's their policy is that you're going to have to get the, the x-rays. That's just what they do, right? All dentists. Mm-hmm. Or if you quit that dentist and go to a new dentist, First they will have to start out with an x-ray because yeah. they need a baseline. Yeah, okay, so you really so. you have to go back to them and say, well, no. unless you go to Mexico. We're not broken up. <laughs> uh, and in Mexico, yeah. I'm sure, yeah. Hey, uh, Mexico. Miraculously, you don't need a, an x-ray every 12 months in uh. Mexico. I wouldn't go to that dentist. Like I, I go there, the hygienist is cool, but the, the dentist, he's the one that fucked up Gretchen's root canal and just fucked her over, and she had to fight him. Like, if it was a serious thing, I'd go to Mexico. If I had to get any kind of root canal shit, I wouldn't go to that <laughs> jack-off. Really, let's yell his name out. What is no, it, Doug? No, no, no. Hamana, hamana, hamana. <laughs> Remember, we had a, a comic That's who stayed not... here, and she she stayed here for like a week. Yeah, at least she went, would. went down to Mexico for the day until the Novocaine wore off, came back, well, uh, convalesced actually, for a she, couple days. She actually went wow. to uh, Nogales. She didn't go to our guy over but, here, but, but she had some She went across the border, right? Done, yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah, it was she over. She had a new mouth put in. <laughs> <laughs> a new mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh so uh, yeah, we've, uh, that's it. Chad Shank, Chad, you've been busy. <laughs> yeah, I've been busy doing some busy work. Yeah, I made I made poor choices in the last couple of weeks. I would say. Haven't seen you so. Uh, yeah, dude, you I didn't even miss you, brother. I went. Well, what happened? Remember, I had an electrical problem with my house. Right. Yeah. And I was fixing that, but while I was fixing that, I was also having psychological problems. So. I piled everything that I dismantled in front of my studio so that I couldn't work on anything because that's how I fucking <laughs> do shit. Yeah. So I wanted to get out of that. I, once I, I realized that's what I had done, I was like, oh, I fuck, I, I got to fix that. But it meant fucking <laughs> doing a whole bunch of housework. So I went ahead and just fucking smoked methamphetamine for like three days. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit, I got a lot of housework done. But I fooled myself there would be no fallout afterwards. I was like, I can, if I just do it medicinally, it'll be all right. Yeah. And Medicinal it meth. Worked that way. <laughs> that old, the Chad, old half I, an Adderall for a podcast wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gateway drug. <laughs> How do you find methamphetamine? Uh, uh, there was somebody going to Mexico to go to the dentist, <laughs> as a matter of fact, and uh, they realized they had uh, methamphetamine with them and decided they probably should not take that to Mexico to the dentist, so they dropped it off at my house. That makes perfect sense. And, uh, what what and then, then, makes no and sense then, is then, Chad then, has <laughs> other friends than us. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get into yeah, it, I but uh, I don't really. <laughs> I know. That was great. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> he smoked his meth. No. No, no. It was, hey, I'm back. What I, are you doing on my I property? Was, <laughs> I was, got, I was seriously away. hoping he would pick it up because I knew at one point uh, that I would fucking do it, but <laughs> I, he's no, I don't want that. Just keep it. I fucking forgot about it. Oh, all right. 
<laughs> Successfully covered my garage for a couple of weeks, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. welcome back. It's kind of like you. this stash of vodka that I I've you, successfully brother. kept on that stage. <laughs> uh, nothing will make you fucking hate people more than you already do than fucking coming down from crystal methamphetamine. I never, uh, the only time I ever fucked I with it that? was my early days with, uh, oh. oh, it's uh, Mikey. I won't say his last name, yeah, but no, you know no, what no, I'm no, talking no. about. We'll, we'll all get whacked. Jackson? Michael Jackson? <laughs> oh, yeah, Mikey Jackson. It's safer to say that, yeah. Uh, it's it's right the only time I'm a good person. I, I, remember, I told Jenny I was going to do it because, I, <laughs> and that's why I decided I didn't want to come around here is because... If I'm going to do it, I don't want to try to pretend I'm not doing it. I'd rather just fucking be like, hey, I'm fucking high as fuck on crystal methamphetamine right now. All right. I don't want to try to pretend that I'm not. No. Always what I've Keep said is real. that that's when you know someone has a problem. They're not doing drugs. They have a drug problem is when they're lying about it. Yeah. Yeah, I would rather not. So I, but but I told Jenny I was like, you're gonna be trying to find me a drug dealer to get more of this. By the time I'm done with it, I fucking rearranged rooms. I'm fucking cleaned things that haven't. I finished projects I've been promising to finish for three years. It's a fantastic drug while I'm on it. I'm a great fucking human being on methamphetamine. Well, I'm just the worst I worst human being off of it. Writing the uh, book that Adderall would help. But it makes you want to do stuff, not sit at a keyboard. <laughs> like, uh, all right, yeah, now I'm alert, but I want to call people and talk to them about the book I'm writing that I'm not writing at all. So it, Talk it, about doing projects. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, tried to, I tried to do one project that required a screwdriver that was in the junk drawer, and I ended up rearranging the drunk drawer before <laughs> I just got like, oh, yeah, I just wanted a screwdriver. <laughs> So how long have you been clean and sober? <laughs> Three days. All right. That's it. Hey, get him his three-day chip, just so Tracy. You know, just so you know, after today, I don't have to see you guys for a while again, so I'll probably do it again tomorrow because I have a lot of shit to do at home still. <laughs> Save it for a fight night. <laughs> My God. We, we, uh, yeah, me and Mikey back in the Vegas days, I was, you know, 22 but it was called crystal and you snorted it and it hurt <laughs> but you yep. still stay up for 12 hours uh yeah it was a, a fucking horrific drug never even thought about smoking it oh it's bad yeah i ran a lot of that shit back in my day when i was oh like, joby used to fucking deal yeah i forget yeah. that uh, every I time you tell me that on a meth lab kind of ring thing and it was uh knew the guy that had the lab and i had guys to push it so i was the one that you know was the middleman to kind of make it all happen and we ran so much dope through imperial valley california fucking tons of it J man. joby saying that he used to be a meth dealer is like when you meet a hot chick that used to says she used to be a fat teenager <laughs> like i can't yo no i was all ugly and fat in high school and i can't see that and joby's that kind of Hot chick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think of it more of like uh, being like in junior college and like not knowing which direction. So you just pick different majors for a while. Yeah, so you, absolutely. So you did the, the, the drug runner and then you did pottery or. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was on the run for the Mexican Navy for a while, you know, in Mexico. And yeah, yeah I tried it all. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. A, that's a semester abroad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, methamphetamine affects me differently. Other people's teeth fall out. That's the only time I brush my teeth to take a shower yeah. is if I'm on methamphetamine. Yeah, like, I should shower up. I'm all positive and fucking Yeah, that's why, uh, that's why Joby, Joby's got the fucking prettiest smile. And you go, How do you do? meth and you? No, I, I'm, I, I'm stunned every time you tell me that. Did you do meth? A lot. I did a ton of it. Oh, yeah. But um, it was... Uh, <laughs> Shitty meth. Yeah, That's why you have great teeth. Yeah. Yeah, he, he distributed it on the East Coast from the West Coast. Right? He's doing it the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I did. Uh, I did my share, but uh, um, did you smoke it? Yeah, smoked it, snorted it. Never shot it. Uh, never got to that point. But uh, yeah, for three years, I was while I was dealing. You know, yeah, did it quite a bit and had a lot of good times. And I was a lot like you. Like I had a great time on it, and I was you know upbeat and. You know, had a had a really good time, but coming down is a bitch. 
you know, I, when, after three years of it, you know, it's, it's mm. rough. Yeah. When you, when you want to kill yourself on a regular day, coming mm-hmm. down is fucking really bad. Oh, I think that's when you texted me. Uh, maybe so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. he's a yeah. smart man. Yeah. Hey, Chaley, this text is my will. <laughs> you get the chickens and the goat. <laughs> no, he had, he had a really good idea, but he was like, so, like, kind of like sheepish about it. I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. But I'm like, yeah, that, oh, why is, I go, is, Tracy, I, why is he doing that? Yep. I go, I think That's he's right. in a bad headspace or something. But then I know you know, also don't like phone calls or messages or <clears throat> attention. So <laughs> <laughs> you're here. You made it. Yeah. yeah. It's good to be here. Yeah. It's, <laughs> well, uh, it's good to have you here. Joby, Joby's been off the uh, junk for, uh, for many years. Do you want him as a sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I still have more to do. I used uh, yeah, to. Yeah, I used to. I used when let's I, I make used sure to it's do good it, stuff together. I used to do it <laughs> until it was all gone. Is the only way I knew how to do yeah. drugs. And this time, I just tried to do it medicinally, where I did a little bit in the morning, mm-hmm. and then I did projects, and then actually fell asleep at some point. And I was thought I was doing real good, and then. Then I was like, all right, that's enough of that. I need to take a few days off. And then those few days off turned into fucking horrible, fucking severe depression. Well, hopefully, suicidal. Jenny wow. never has an accident while s- when Sal Volcano <laughs> says, hey, Jenny's been in a b- bit of a pickle. Uh, anyone who sends a lot of meth <laughs> to Chad Shank. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny would. Uh, I used to drink it. till it was gone, I, but now. I started building a fence around my yard five years ago, about a quarter of the way through it right now. So, uh. methamphetamine would probably help out. <laughs> there it is. It's probably healthier than five-hour energy. Build. <laughs> oh my god! Did you ever fuck with drugs, Kanopka? Not really. I mean, when I was growing up in the seventies, everybody. You know, we just got, uh, you know, we smoked weed, we drank. I mean, I did it like mescaline, I think twice. Like purple microdot, that was a big fucking deal. Jeez. Did that once. But it was always in, it was in a, you know, in the okay. forest. Sure, it was in the, uh, under good Safe. circumstances. Yeah. I wasn't being dosed at some fucking concert. Coke never did shit for me. I, it was only because I'm with a girl. She did coke. I never. And they always said, "Well, you never had good coke." Well, I'm glad I never got good fucking coke. <laughs> I had good pussy, but I didn't get the good <laughs> coke. <laughs> so that's really pretty much it, you know. A background on uh, Kanapka is uh, he was into martial arts and stuff. So he had a kind of a different like. Uh, background. You were always into it. Well, not well. Were you like so, Rogan, where he, no, Rogan well, was like a teen champion and shit. You ran well, no, a shop. I was no teen champion, but you ran I, a shop, Tom. No, no, but I, uh, I, I stayed relatively active in it uh, since I was about fourteen. It was everything was Bruce Lee? If, if, if you, if you get bored stirring the ice in the microphone, actually chew it in the microphone. One of my favorite sounds. Well, that's that's her sound. I do the slurp to tell Tracy I'm ready. You do the. What about ice. what about the people chewing? Yeah, or I know you. Love, you know. I learned that from uh, Todd Barry's book, I fucking upcoming hate that too. book. Thank you for coming to Hattiesburg. Yeah, uh, that I wrote the forward to. Oh, you did. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, while well, Bingo was I in a did not coma. Know that. Uh, he, uh, it's called Mysophonia. That's the. Uh, uh, my 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 Siphonia, yeah. yeah. Where you <laughs> mouth sounds that make you fucking crazy. Is that crazy. what it's called? I, yeah. It drives me crazy too. Mm-hmm. It's, an actual, it's an actual brain. Yeah. How many mics do we need? What would that be called in Serbian? <laughs> <laughs> what is my Siphonia in Serbian? Hang on, guy off the mic. Did you just say it's an actual brain disease? <laughs> <laughs> oh, brain disorder. All right. I thought you said yeah, it's a disease. Oh, well, I don't better. think it's a disease. Fuck. Uh, yeah, uh, Todd that Barry has that too. All mouth sounds. I get mad that other people are breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Bothers me. Fucking breathing. <laughs> Bingo quit smoking and started chewing gum, and she open mouth breathes while chewing and will chew gum in her sleep. Wow. So she's just, wow. Uh, that's, wow. A, that's a ta- Exactly. That's a talent. So, yeah, it's get the open mouth, hard breathing, and yeah. Bubbles? She, she, she blow the like, bubbles? Yeah, you do the coma thing all the time, but quit with the fucking gum. Just quit with the gum. You can't chew gum all the time, even when you're sleeping. I think she used to chew gum sleeping, like, on the road. 
Yeah, she yeah. she started but chewing gum. That wasn't gum because up. of the brain injury. Mm-mm. Okay, I, not I, this I, one. You no, know, the first thing that came back to her out of the coma when she was starting to remember was where's my gum? Yeah, her nicotine gum. Yeah. And now she just chews regular gum, and I just quit. well, I'm trying to get off the nicotine gum. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather I smoke cigarettes? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to say that. In she fact, like, go yes. get a pack. I need some yellow American spirits. Yes. <laughs> get some silent lights. <laughs> some silent lights. <laughs> you take, you take the, uh, the breathing over the... <laughs> oh. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's fucking jump in a death pool. Joby, yeah, well, Joby, bring us up to date, brother. Motherfucker, 2016 was massive. <laughs> you said mother immediately. I yeah. thought you were going to say, oh, your mother died. Uh, no, speaking no. of death pool, mother. <laughs> no, There's I, another I, book. That's what I say. Like, Taking up my mother. Came in uh, today. I had to take my mom, my crippled mom, and my, uh, my uh, blind <laughs> uncle grocery shopping at the same time. And I afterwards, I just wanted the world to burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when I saw Tracy at the store. Like, right yeah, like I was so mad, but, <clears throat> but no. Um, yeah, 2016. All right. Yeah, unless you've been under a rock, tons of people died, oh. which is good for business. And yep. uh, so uh, the way this works is every year, uh, whoever is the point leader site wide ends up naming the next bonus category for the next year. Last year it was athletes. This year it's politicians. So. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm I'm going through the Rolodex right. of what problems is it going to? Uh, well, oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah, already. Yeah, I think it, it's not it's not as bad it's, as athletes, but it's still yeah. you know a little tough on petitions. So. Well, so, yeah, World Series of Poker is on fucking ESPN, so then yeah, everyone's gonna. But politician, that's pretty cut and dry. So yeah, are yeah. anyone elected to office that. is considered a celebrity? Uh, if they make it through the petition process, sure. But, okay, so you know, like royalty will work. You know, it's got to be high class royalty, you know, anyone in the database. So the, the king of Mumbai. No, no yeah. but no dukes. Uh, no, <laughs> no dukes. dukes, man. Yes. Yeah. So, so, de- yeah. So, so, for instance, anyone who's elected as a senator or a House of Representatives, if they're in there automatically? Uh, no, not automatically. Not automatically. Okay, if they were a state senator I, and they did jack shit for, you know, a couple of terms and faded to uh, Big obscurity. Dick Dave Donnelly's not that, in the fucking yeah. pool? Big See? Dick Dave Donnelly. Yeah, no, they're not a senator. Uh, that's an inside so, joke with yeah. Haley and Tracy. But, and most so, yeah. of Alaska. <laughs> most of Alaska. <laughs> right. In the late 90s. Yeah. Or people that listen to the first couple podcasts. <laughs> mm. that's, that's twice now I've almost stumbled into stories. I got to write down the meth story. You guys made me think of that. Just, I was going to chime you know, in. Write, with write it down now because I, th- th- you're still big... coherent enough that I think <laughs> you'll be able to read your writing and remember it. I didn't want to come it over here legible. today, but if I reminded you of a meth story, me? I feel like I've done, You've done something. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's worth it. Yes. Yeah, the meth story that's going in the book and the oh, big dick perfect. Dave Donnelly that's story, it. that'll go in the book. That's go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. So, but, so, <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, is like, if you start for a team as an athlete, like a baseball team, mm. even though it's not a real sport, we all know that, uh, Eat a you're not, you don't automatically get to be a celebrity. And if you're elected as the senator, you're not automatically. State senator is different. They, they yeah, have to but, have done something significant, yeah, right? Yeah, done something significant. If you just did a term and bad or away. good. Gene yeah. Connors is not going to be... He's also not a senator. We just call <laughs> him that. also not a senator, but yeah. But if your senator peed on a wall and made the news for it, he might get a... Yeah. Wiener. Yeah. That's yeah. something. Yeah. You got busted yeah. for coke, or you did something like that. Marion you know, Barry. Sure. Oh, go. good. Right. That's in. a really good pick. Yeah, so. I, in. Yeah. Made it. I actually... I, I, I didn't even notice. For, my computer's all fucked. I can't... I had a problem with the password. I couldn't check the site for a while. Mm-hmm. And uh, I realized I got a hit on the mayor of Indianapolis that I had to fight for. Because even I have to fight with Joby on shit. He, <laughs> he declines me on... But this guy did something as the mayor of Indianapolis a million years ago. That, and I, I got that guy. He's okay. dead. I didn't realize that. I was yeah, he was so a, close. like he created the sports capital of the world or something like that. I don't know. He but, did yeah. something. Yeah. That, so there has to be so. something notable. Yeah. In their history. Absolutely. To, to make that. Okay. Yeah. That would, that would make sense. So uh, yeah, Death Squad M U F C. He's from England. 
and he won last year with like monster 17 hits and got like 1100 points something like that he get the name the new one so politicians it is so that's what you're banking for that gives you 25 points if you get oh, what's he got well, up his sleeve right <laughs> the winner no he gave us like eight eight like uh options like here's uh, eight oh, bonus okay. rules and we picked the one that was going to be the le- least amount of headache for oh, us. Nice. so it was going to fuck nice us him. he didn't know. say my uncle <laughs> yeah <laughs> sandy Single sent off. a lot of shit to bingo i like that guy but yeah. i love what you're doing with a lot of people have way too much free time like we used to have when we did this for fun and not a website where they're just too good. So you've made Champions League? Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Because we had like Carlos Valencia in our mm-hmm. league. He, he won two years in a row. Well, now you get bumped out of our league into the Championship League. Mm. So the rest of us actually have a fighting chance at getting into uh, mm. you know, like the All-Stars. Top okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you it's get an all-star the, league. So all-star if you get league. when yeah. you get in this year, yep. at DSCDP, Dot Doug Stanhope's celebritydeathpool.com. Right. Yeah, if you you can get bumped up if you if you win. Oh wait, kill a termite. Well, let's, let's go. Uh, like that the, would be like the, the training championship camp. league. Uh, uh-huh. We're gonna do a, like give away a tablet, you know, to whoever wins that one, and then. If you guys want to play, anyone out there wants to play, it's I'm gonna push it back a little bit so you have time to start. Uh, go to the website, look for Killer Termites, mm-hmm. that league, that funeral home, and that is, uh, you know, if you've already signed up before, it's like two ninety nine to play. Uh, two dollars and ninety nine yep, cents. Three bucks, and at the end of the year, whoever wins, we're gonna give away a free flat screen TV, like a thirty two inch or something like that. Fuck yeah. that! No, we we can okay. afford. Five, like 40 inch, inch 44 yeah, yeah. inch give him one of Stanhope's TVs it's worth more <laughs> yeah <laughs> he'll <laughs> sign it he'll all sign across it the, the front screen. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what is yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, sign up for Killer ter- Termites because uh, yeah, this is a uh, open to anyone, and yeah, giving away a uh, TV, and then uh, second place would probably give away a, a small tablet or something like that. So that's join up, great. and you know that's the way to go. Do well, it. Um, we we talked about this before even uh, Joey Boots died, where we talked about it would be fun if whoever won. Had the killer, uh, I mean, the killer termites, the uh, whack pack as yeah. the new uh, rule for for the year. And then two whack packers died towards the end of the year. Mm-hmm. And I, because uh, I, I said, ah, that would be fun hypothetically, yeah. but uh, the Stern show might take it the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, you don't want anyone to get yeah. pissed. Yeah. 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 Well, they, then they I did, ain't burning that fucking bridge. Well, then they no. did their own death yeah, pool for the WAG pack, mm-hmm. but then they canceled it because of the same reason. Everybody was too sensitive about it. They did it. cancel it? Yeah, yeah oh, the whole shit. thing's I just listened today. Oh, I think it was yesterday's oh. show. Wow. Yeah, they, wow. they shut down the whole thing. They gave uh. everybody their money back because everybody was too sensitive. Whoa, they, wow. I, they yeah. fucking jumped on it. Yeah, I did not I tr- I'd, I've had High Pitch Eric uh, yeah. since December of last year. I had him earlier. I, mm-hmm. I just traded out Eric the Actor just a month before he died. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that was a yep. fucking dis- So, yeah. <laughs> Who knew? They're part yeah. of the death pool, whether Chet, they want to be or not. Yeah, yeah, and you can, you know, every month you can trade out a uh, celebrity for another one, and uh, you run the risk of exactly what yeah. Shank did. So yeah. he dropped someone and they died. So, yeah. you know, um, anyone the that 15th has- of the month, beware <laughs> the Ides of any month. Yep. You might trade out the wrong guy. <laughs> And then uh, we've got we see a lot of funeral homes that are that have like two three players in it. Uh, if you want more players, push your start date start start date back a bit so uh, so more people can join. You know, it's like it's fantasy sports. So give yourself yeah. A but the bit of time, site so. starts on January fifteenth, but, but your you home doesn't just, have to. Yeah, you can start in fucking June. I'm hoping ours yeah. won't start. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, no, I got yeah, a book to write. Yeah, we're we're doing all right, but. Going back to uh, like this whole senator thing, I, I did a poll on Twitter, uh, and it was should what was his YouTube name? stars that are not known for anything else, another just being YouTube celebrities mm. or YouTube stars, Tweety should, Pie, yeah, yeah, PewDiePie, PewDiePie, or, you know, that's whatever, what it is. yeah. Should they be considered? That's, that's how I trap him. Yes, <laughs> unless you uh, unless you're gonna uh, admit that you're that old guy, 
yeah. that says, but, "There's not a real star. He was never on Carson." <laughs> <laughs> yes, internet stars. Yeah, yeah. There's, and uh, decidedly, it was seventy percent to thirty percent for no. Until people start talking about it in the thread, and then everyone's like, "Ah, eh, okay, oh, interesting." Yeah, they're they're yeah. I, when they started arguing back and forth, everyone started turning to, "Okay, yeah, they are celebrities." Because you know, old got, people voted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's why old people vote. <laughs> Telling you, we have um, strong opinions and lots of free time to sit around and tell you those opinions. Yeah, another one was uh, okay. Dylan Roof, the douchebag that uh, shot up the place. Yes. Right? Yeah. All right. So not anymore. You got the death penalty. Okay. So our rule always has been death penalty. You're out. You're, out. you're just oh. okay. But what not is you're been out. Post- you're, you're, we, you, that selection goes no play. Go, yeah. No. What it's been uh, <clears throat> suggested to us is that. Okay, well, if he gets a, his death year or whatever they're going to fucking cap him is going to be in... 18 uh, like, years from yeah. now? How about allow him in until that year and then he's pulled out? Because if he gets oh, chatted, shit. you know, if he gets <laughs> chatted, then he's out. Chatted. You know, or you know, he gets murdered or <laughs> he hangs himself. Yeah. And I'm posing uh, it to you uh, guys. Uh, <clears throat> Dahmered. Yeah, Dahmer. he got Dahmered. Yeah. So I'm so, posing it to you guys. What do you think about that? I, do they do that? Do they give a date that they're going to do it? Yeah, because usually what? it's several years. It's there's, not gonna, there's, there's a lengthy no date, appeal, appeal a, process. A, a, a yeah. Forced appeal. Like, you can't not appeal yes. a death thing. You know? uh, so should we keep those... I think you're right active? on. He might, he, might get, he might get offed well before that. Or, I mean, since he did something in the name of, of a race, yeah. he, he, he might be... Uh, Fucking shepherd it in and and help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm curious on your take on it. Should we keep him in and let him be picked? I'd keep up him in. It, the only way he can't die is by the state, right? Okay, so yeah, if he gets injected, but you're looking at me, out. and I'm not. I'm not even a player. <laughs> I, mean, I know, but I, like, uh, that's if what you I want think. to ask me. I'll, I'll answer from a selfish point of view that ask I always Chad, fucking do. It'll Chad. complicate things for you. I wouldn't do it. You're going to open the door this for other people to argue. This is how the legal system works. Exactly. Baseball. You, well, hit it as far as you can and then run. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. let's add the rule. and you can't. Yeah. Ground rule double. What if it's a pop fly on the <laughs> infield? Yeah. Well, I guess Ty would go to the runner, and now there's a <laughs> fucking whole fly rule. That's encyclopedia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of kicking around to do on that one because- uh, I, th- you know, I think it's right there. Yeah. You, yeah. You, the only way he, uh, someone who's on death row can't die- and someone get credit for or get points for yeah. it is if they die by the state. Okay. It's null at that point. Mm-hmm. But if they die beforehand, I mean, that's still a valid I just guess. had uh, such a great example that I didn't want to interrupt, and I tried to hold that thought for 30 seconds. It's gone. Like, okay, what would we do in this case? And it's fucking gone. And I'm thinking, I, I think if I pick up that remote, I could rewind my memory. <laughs> Pat, no, no, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work that That way. beautiful moment is gone. Fuck. You fucking I waited sot. for a pause. Yeah. yeah. We all, it was small pauses there. I'm looking at Joby. He's yeah. the one leading the that's conversation. When, oh, that's yeah. when I was trying to remember. What it's going to come back. It'll come back later. Yeah. Yeah, well, so it'll, what's it'll loop you back. on the Dylan Roof thing? I mean, should we keep him in? Uh, like Celebrities like that, you know, like mass what's, what's say you, or, Douglas? No, I think it's saved for the spite pool. Yeah, but still, it's a, it has to be open for everybody. You can't it's just low, it's low hanging it for, fruit. I yeah. mean, that's that's why uh, you know anyone that is on death row. That's why I put them out anyway. I was like, no, you can't pick them because it's low hanging fruit. But in a case like this, okay, someone might get shanked. Oh, that was the example. It came back. Oh, hold on, okay. hold on. I got I something. It. I got uh, something. No, no. <laughs> just kidding. Hang on. Uh, so. This is 2000 and whatever, April 19th, because I know because it's in my book. Hmm. As an aside, (laughs) Waco. Mm -hmm. Um, David Koresh. Koresh. Yeah. That lasted so long that he was a celebrity. Wow. Mm -hmm. Would you allow in a trade round David Koresh while he's in a standoff with the ATF? There you go. I would have to <laughs> throw him in. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, ha- it happened for such an extended period of time. Absolutely. Um, and it was so televised. And yeah. we all know Even his name right away. Yeah. And at that time, everybody knew that guy's name. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. 
I probably would have to. Yeah. Um, now, you know, guys that are on the like a manhunt that lasts a couple of days, no. But something that goes on for weeks, sure. Yeah. I was. How long was that? It was long. It was months. Yeah. It's uh, like months. Yeah. Three or four weeks, know. or I just. I, it's only in the book because I I remembered mm-hmm. where I was on that day. Uh, it was unbelievable. In the in a, a unrelated story, I remember, so I could look up the date. Hey, right. when did David Koresh get burned out of Waco? Because that's the day I was fucking Shanghai in Cheyenne, Wyoming, with Wiley and the pig, <laughs> uh, an actual pig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so yeah, I think uh, you know, really, that's about it. We've got. I've I've been buried this uh, this season with petitions. We we have so many new people signing up, and the site's just blowing up. So uh, yeah, I've got Shaley and Tracy and and Hack Oddity and it's a the few fucking others. year of celebrity yeah. death we just came out of. Uh, everyone's helping me out on petitions, and then uh, I'll I'll cool. get a committee together of of people that I can you know throw petitions at you know a broader spectrum. We need like a guy in Australia. I don't know anyone because I get tons of Australian pet- petitions and New Zealand petitions. Yeah. And shit, shit, we like that, so. our, oi, oi, yeah. oi! Our uh, fuck, I can't remember his name. Uh, the, the guy that was our tour manager. I hope you listen. But you know what? You just said that. You know what? Uh, Prinny, Prinny lives in Australia. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh, so, and I, I, I think she might listen to the podcast. Ben, yeah. Ben and Prinny, yeah. Ben would be great. Well, Ben's American. She's but Australian, he lived, but he would. He, well, Either way, he's a guy yeah, who pay, he pays attention. He pays yeah. attention, and he's a tech nerd. So yeah, perfect. Good. Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, but, uh, uh, yeah. and your Twitter, the uh, Joby's yeah. Twitter is Stanhope's CDP. Stanhope's Death Pool, Celebrity Death Pool. You'll find it easily. Stanhope's CDP, and then the website is dscdp.com. So sign up. Yeah, win a free TV and a bunch of crap if you're good enough. And yeah, yeah we're, we're we're using that as bait. We just want more players because a lot of people fucking hey Stern bailed out on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I. I yeah, you got to sign up. I only I listen. I get Stern. I only drive since I've been writing this book from Safeway and back. So I get <laughs> five minutes of Stern each way. It's all I listen to. Yeah. And uh, I didn't hear the replay of them yeah. shit canning the whole thing. But when we talked about it, I, yeah, it would be funny. But we weren't. Uh, uh, we were talking the whole show, and I thought, well, what if it's Robin? Oh, we uh, no one can celebrate that. No. So let's shit can the whole that idea, and then Joey fucked. Boots dies, and. Hmm. I like, fuck now. If we just made it whack packers, but I go, they're half dead. But then when I was <laughs> listening to all the whack packers that like, from years I never listened, no. I, oh shit, there are a lot of them, yeah. and but they're already doing this. So yeah, but the problem is, it is our death pool is international, and they don't know a fucking whack packer from a pud whacker. Whoa, <laughs> I made a rhyme. <laughs> I, uh, I think yeah. Robin is different though because I don't think she is the whack pack like Melrose. No, Larry no, I'm Green. saying at first I was at saying. First, oh yeah, like, yeah. Was, What yeah. if we did just cancer survivor like, all, all Robin the, Quivers? The, the, the whole <laughs> yeah. stern lineup. It was after yeah, Eric the Robin. Midget had died, and I like that'd be cool. But nah, not if it was Robin. No, no. We couldn't. <laughs> Couldn't, nah, he, which he is which is funny because I'm Robin sure Robin is, is in the is database it. right now. Oh yeah, sure. no, gotta be. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was uh, I did the uh, uh, Skype interview with Gino Biscani, yeah. uh, and uh, it was towards the end, and they said, uh, "Hey, where where are you at?" And I said, "Oh, I'm at Stanhope's Fun House." He said, first thing he said was, "Where's where's Shaley?" <laughs> <laughs> and I turned around, That's and Shaley was walking in. <clears throat> One job. Yeah. Show up to the interview. Yeah. So it showed up. And then the last like, five minutes there. with them, they were bullshitting about drinks and, you know, in Alaska and getting fucked up together. Gino and the gorilla. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Aaron Berg. And a, he had a gorilla. Yeah. A guy in a gorilla suit was his co host. Yeah. Oh, Aaron Berg, the Canadian <laughs> yeah. bodybuilder guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huge guy. And he was, yeah, he's, you know, he's pushing he's my got white some guilt. Funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that was a costume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so did he. Oh yeah. fuck! But yeah, that was that was great that you guys, uh, yeah, like reminisce. That was fun. He does fun. a 
I mean, I came up to get mail. Mm-hmm. Uh, he does uh, football picks. He's got a video podcast. Not like Bingo, by the way. Oh, yeah? I-, I wonder how Eight he's doing. Eight two since her coma. We thought Eight it two? would be funny when she was still like vaguely here. Cognizant. She- Yes. Uh, uh, hey, let's get our football picks while she's talking to the Angels, and she's eight and two <laughs> she's fucking against brilliant. the spread. W- when I tweet <laughs> ATS, that means against the spread. That's what right. makes it difficult. Right. Anyone can go eight and two yeah. picking the Patriots over the f- fucking Jaguars, <laughs> but against the spread, fucking phenomenal. And her pick this week for uh, this weekend's uh, playoffs. Playoffs. Thank you. <laughs> That'll go to Jim Morris' fucking grave. That's I, all he'll be remembered by. Playoffs, playoffs. Playoff. You don't, you don't think he, he doesn't mind that? You think no, he? You I think know, he I hates don't. it. <laughs> He's not fucking Jimmy JJ Walker. <laughs> dynamite with dynamite. Yeah, <laughs> where people are walking up to him, going, "Hey, will you say playoffs for my friend on the phone?" <laughs> or maybe, maybe. Are you kidding me? I would love that. <laughs> no one uh, knows who Jim Mora is. They yeah. know. They just know the sound bite. He's not yeah. going to comedy clubs every week either, like Jimmy no. JJ Walker trying to. He doesn't get have a job you know, trying to get people to laugh. Yeah. What's it called? And the failing. Q rating where his, oh, they his see Q. his What's face his Q and rating? they go, "Oh, you're the playoffs." You're the Coors maybe. Light guy. No, well, actually, I I coached a team, a couple of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, my. Yeah, the L.A. Chargers, for one. <laughs> anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh. Was good. Uh, one more thing, uh, Death Pool. Zachary Wynn, this guy, has uh, been setting up, you know, interviews and stuff. Just out of fun, you know. It's like, here, you know, a Death Pooler guy. Uh, he wants more people in his uh, funeral home. So if you want to join up for free just to, to play for whatever, uh, it's the Scientology Celebrity Center. Wow. And, so he's his uh I guess his handle on the site is uh David Miscarriage. So. <laughs> David Miscarriage is that clear? That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember uh, when we up. used to play for fun just with us here in Bisbee, yeah. we we had a Scientologist bonus, bonus category. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we carried I, that uh through I think the very first season we went live. I I, I placed in the money. That was the first year, uh-huh, and I yes. only knew uh uh, celebrity rehab is what I front loaded because I don't that's I don't right, know pop right. culture and I we it was before we did a lot of <clears throat> due diligence and searching Google just pick a bunch of celebrities that everyone knows so I would use celebrity rehab but mm. uh, the guy that put me in the money was uh, what's his name from Taxi oh, Jeff Jeff Conway, Jeff Conway. Jeff Conway. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff he was Conway. a Scientologist for a minute. I didn't know that. After yeah. he got out of uh, celebrity rehab. rehab. Mm-hmm. Grasping he at went straws. from Dr. Yeah. Drew. <laughs> he That's went even below, below Dr. Drew to Scientology <laughs> who could cure him. And then he died, and I yeah. won oh, on the technicality, you even did. though it was a minute. Yeah, yeah, Bravo. you took that season. That was back in the Excel spreadsheet days. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. So. Jeff Conway. It was, uh, Fantastic. Uh, it's back when we were on index cards and a <laughs> yes. Rolodex. The Dewey Decimal System. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing Death Pool. The Dewey Decimal by, System. <laughs> Death Pool by Braille. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think that's uh, that's about it for Death Pool. Just sign up and, you know, yeah, let's have some fun because uh, last year was awesome and, and this year's a uh, ton of people are playing. So, yeah, that's get on it. great. Yes. Hey, I don't want to be rude, guys, but I have to pee. So if I leave, you guys continue on while I pee. Why don't you send us to break? Uh, I have to pee, so we're going to break. I just peed twice. <laughs> <laughs> and now a message for one of our many Serbian listeners who want to move to Casa Grande, Arizona. Kako ste ljudi? Dolazi u Casa Grande za najbolji meksički hranu. Mi amigo Ricardo's 821 Florence Boulevard, 520836358. Ako volite tacos, the burritos, the enchiladas, Eastern Hops Especial, dolazi tamo. Volite puno. Zdravo ljudi. All right, let's go and clean. 
All right. <laughs> that's no, that's and the that's sound. Starts, that's perfect. I, that's, that's perfect. Editing the last four podcasts, I've just I'm I give up. I don't know how to fuck you. I'm not You're going genius, to fucking Charlie. try and pull the background noise out. No, it's you should never. No. I thought well, we agreed on this years no, no, ago. No, no, no. It's, it's texture. It's tapestry. People talking is like as we're sitting here conversing, but the the people in the background, I there's just too many people here sometimes. I just yeah. can't do it anymore. No, yeah, yeah. absolutely. We, we don't. I shouldn't have we said ain't. anything because you wouldn't know. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> saying. I don't know. He would have never known. That's how damn good Shelly is. That's right. Yeah. But everyone likes the ice. Like they they play drinking games when they hear the ice. When you this ice, rattle, Tom. yeah. Oh, okay, that, that ice. Okay. Before not, you take a drink, not the swirly, not the swirly twirly. Okay, not the where's game. my bartender swirl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I like when Tom has a cocktail. Yeah. Or two. Or three. Or three. Yeah. <laughs> Handles of Bacardi. Hey, oh, I, I like I when know. Shanks burps. Yeah. How you doing? Chad, <laughs> introduce him. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, Mikey's. Uh, Joby, Joby went to go cook food, so Mikey's uh, on the mic yeah, in right, case he Mike. has anything to add in. But I'm going to Tom. We yeah. Had, we had some good conversations last night. Yeah, we were conversing. I'm always up for a fucking Kanopka story. I know uh, that. Listen to you. Well, <laughs> Kanopka came in last night, and uh, thank God, because any distraction from writing the book <laughs> is welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I I've checked Facebook a couple times. That's how. Oh, yeah. Wow. But Tom Kanopka had a a two page list, front and back, like you're a prisoner. Yeah. Like you you get a spare paper. I was. I, I, I'll write on the back. Of yeah, the I was paper. a little kid. Yeah, yeah, writing all those notes. Yeah, so he has like a thousand stories. It, you know, it's funny. I'm reviewing it. You know, it's just like Shaylee said at the the last podcast. You know, I'm being just respectful of of your space because uh, I know if I come in and we start yakking, fuck after twenty five thirty years, well, well you're not going to be fucking writing. So I back out. But uh, I was thinking it was just stories to talk about Vegas. Back in Atlantic City, I remember around <coughs> 1979 or 80. This is a, a crazy fucking story, but again, it's, uh, you couldn't make this shit up. There was a yes, guy. You could. <laughs> y- yes, you could, but this one you don't. There was a guy, his name was Bailey. I don't remember his first name, but he was the size of Orson Welles. And I was dealing dice. We were crap stealers. And there were 36 dice tables at Harris. And what typically would happen is when you were dealing, and remember, this was at the heyday of Atlantic City, when it was fucking... You you couldn't even get to the table before Trump ruined it. Yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, or yeah. the fact that it was built in a ghetto. Hey now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no shit. Yeah, one block off of Atlantic Boulevard, and you're in fucking. Uh, well, Compton. I'll tell you where you are because Jeff Brown and I, when we were not even, I wasn't old enough to even gamble. We used to take road trips through the night oh, to Atlantic fuck. City from Worcester, Mass, and we got Worcester. lost once. And uh, we asked some uh, young black girl, probably 10 years old, where <laughs> Arkansas Street was. 10 years and, old. Well, we're driving fucking lost in a ghetto. And You're we're trying to find the fuck, Arkansas yeah. Street. 10 is as good as that. And age. she goes, I don't know. I go, we're Arkansas. She goes, you mean Arkansas? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking quote, Jeff Brown. <laughs> back me up. <laughs> no child left behind. <laughs> no, exactly. And it's, and it's way worse now. Oh, yeah. I mean, I haven't been back there since 1990. But it was just the thing. It was so fucking busy. You would deal for 20 minutes on stick as a dice dealer. The guy with the stick. Six easy. You know, five no feel, five. Winner, seven. And then you would move over. You get tapped out from the guy that was on break for 20 minutes. You work for 40 minutes. You're on break for 20 minutes. But it was so fucking busy at 79, 1979 and 80 just to get up to the dealers, the, the, the break room, where they would feed you anything. This guy, uh, he, I, if he's still alive, it would be miraculous. He was the size of fucking Orson Welles. He was like 500 pounds. We wore at that time. Ralphie May for the younger listeners. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, Ralphie, but he's pretty much I'm spot say, on. Citizen yeah. Kane is yeah, 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 yeah. Ralphie's a lot more handsome than this motherfucker. <laughs> but, but, yeah, no, hey, you know. But the guy was like an English teacher, but he decided, hey, fuck it, I'm going to deal dice. 
And what they did, we were wheel- uh, wearing, you know, beautiful fucking everything, the, 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 the fucking vests and everything. He had about 15 vests sewn together just to fit around his fucking <laughs> well ass. <laughs> There's no bullshit. When he stood on the table, his stomach was hanging over the table on top of the fucking... Did dice ever hit it when they <laughs> no, flew by? <laughs> oh, no, exactly. I mean, it was a fucking, like, a wharf. And, uh, <laughs> but this was the thing. So typically, we would go on break for 20 minutes. But it was so busy, it would take you about 10 minutes to get up there. And what this guy typically would do, because they would cook anything, he would typically eat, it was usually about about a dozen scrambled eggs with three fried eggs on top and a big ass, a big fucking glass of milk. <laughs> now just visualize this. Forgive me if you guys are eating out there at this point. <laughs> so the guy came down. He's done this. This was his M.O. Dinner time. <laughs> put on the Stanhope podcast and get the kids. We're eating and listening yeah. to Stanhope yeah. like old timey radio. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, this quiet, is a foreshadow. Quiet. <laughs> you can hear it coming. So the guy comes down one time off a break. And at that time, it was so busy. The guys that sit on the dice table, they're called boxmen, the box person. And they're watching the, the bankroll, making sure all the payoffs are correct. We had double box. Baby. Box person is the new phrase. Yeah, I it's assume. the PC yeah. shit. Yeah. It's yeah. a box. Oh, it's yeah. a, he's a not, freaking he's not, box man. But he's not grabbing the dice or, this, or doing the bets. No, 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 he's no, no, just no. watching what no, happens. No, no, no. Back he's then, not. they go, who put that cunt on the boxman's? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there was a couple of cunt on the boxman's. But uh, yeah, excuse me. But uh, so this was the thing. He came off a break one time and he's calling. Hey, yeah, coming out, crap 11 or 7. And the five, no feel five, mark the five. But we could tell he was turning some strange colors. We knew he was sick and he was starting to sweat. And this is a guy that was about 450 pounds. We all loved him, but he would eat so incessantly on the break. You don't have time to digest it. It takes 10 minutes to get up. You've only got another 10 minutes to get the fuck down. So he's calling the dice, six easy, six, winner seven, seven out, line away. And then when he got down, they tapped him out, and he came around to start dealing. This is where you're bending over, and you're paying off six, you're paying. He looked at the boxman, he says, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not feeling good. And the boxman was a friend of mine. His name was Mike Carr. He was kind of like Matthew McConaughey, always talking through that smile in his face. He said, he looked up at me, he says, I think Bailey's going to toss his cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. With that fucking smirky fucking smile. <laughs> and we love Bailey, but the, the fucking guy, he's like, yeah, he's going to toss his cookies. So I'm looking at him, and then I said, Bailey, because he came over and tapped me out to deal, and I went to the other side of the table. I said, listen, dude, if, if you're not feeling well, we've got a fucking, you know, we've got a little... A garbage can. You know, if you got to puke, go over there. You know, just I, I, I'll cover you. <laughs> He's no, I, I'm good. And we were watching him. Oh, no. I bullshit you not. <laughs> this was Harris Marina Casino. He started to fucking projectile vomit, and the the fucking table was absolutely crowded. There was three on four the table. Fucking all over the <laughs> dude, all over the fucking entire Mr. Creosote side. from uh, Monty, Monty Python. Python, 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 Python. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, all over the fucking mm. table. He did about five or six power heaves. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was unbelievable. The people backed up. There were three and four deep. Fifteen people at least on both sides, and they all backed up in horror. And what were they looking at? They were looking at the milk. They were looking at the fucking <laughs> eggs. They were looking at the fucking fried eggs. It was so fucking horrific. And thank God, I can mention it now because he may not be be around. If he is, I won't be around. His name was John Sassini, Johnny Cenote. He was from Vegas, one of the few people that understood what the fuck to do under these circumstances. As soon as that happened, he backed everybody out. He said, look, on the other side where I was dealing, there was no vomit. Just give them their money. Because it was so fucking busy, if you even stop for five minutes, you've lost 100000 Just move the fucking dice. They didn't give a fuck. He called the security people and the, whatever, the, the maintenance people. We gave everybody their money back. The vomit that was on this side of the table, there was at least probably five Wait, or ten they grand. use that thing that used to scoop the dice <laughs> for the vomit? <laughs> no, exactly. That's, everyone's picturing that. In it. That was. it was unbelievable. So now this is, he comes over. He says, look, everybody back out. And now he's pointing at people. He's just randomly. What did you have? And people that were watching the game, uh, I had a $600 sticks. 
pay him. They were just get him, just get him out. And they were just giving out thousands. Man, my check to Arkansas <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody was fucking cleaning up. And the dice tables in Atlantic City at that time were double the size of Vegas. They were fucking huge. And we were on a marina. We were not on the main drag on Atlantic City Boardwalk. It was the marina. And so I wondered. I was like, okay, what are they going to fucking do? So Cindy just said, look, everybody, you guys, the dealers, everybody go on break. Everybody else. They, this is the they, fat guy. No, 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 this, right, no, this is the pit boss. This oh, is the yeah. pop, C-note. the pit boss. Exactly, Jenny, Johnny uh, C-note. Johnny C note. Exactly. He just said, "Look, everybody, back up. Whatever you guys had, just give them. Just whatever the fuck they're at, just pay them. Let's get the fucking table out of here." <laughs> now, I thought that that perhaps they were going to move it to some fucking lift, get it upstairs, change the layout, you know, the green felt, and bring it back. Fuck no. He had them carry this fucking table. All the way across the fucking casino floor, about a thousand yards, out the fucking door, and I'm following him. He said, "Go up on break." I said, "I, I want to watch this." <laughs> all the fucking, all the fucking way out the fucking door at Harris. This is a fact. All the way, another fucking about fifty yards, and dump that motherfucker with the chips on top of it, the checks. At least ten thousand dollars in checks into the drink. It, right, just fucking toss it. He's saying. Toss the fucking table. They're like, you really? Yeah, toss the fuck. And they just dumped it. That was 1980. If anybody goes down there with the fucking <laughs> s- scuba outfit, there's at least 10 grand in fucking checks down there. Have at it. And within about a half an hour, they had another table. The fucking table. And was, hepatitis C. And you know, hep C. Other things. Yeah, but it was fucking wrong. That's how busy it was. It was so, they didn't give a fuck. Just move the table, toss it in the drink, and get a fucking roll, get another table, and there it is. God bless you, ah. Bailey. There, it is. there you go, Tom Kanopka. Yeah, there it is. There's an old fucking old fart story. <laughs> keep, keep fucking writing the stories down. I, I, I couldn't make that shit up. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> fucking <Man>. Bailey. <laughs> I had $200 in a fried egg on that cum line. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, everybody, whatever the fuck they were in, they were just making shit up. They could have been at yeah. a $100 flag. I had $800 on the hard day. Just give it to them. Give it to them. Give it to them. That's what it was. That's, wow. that's business. Yeah, that was the business. That's, that's going to be the next grift. Like, <laughs> they, uh, yeah, the, 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 get somebody. What was the name of the crew that uh, was uh, counting cards? They wrote the MIT a, team. Yeah. Rounders. Yeah, 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 the yeah, movie yeah. Rounders. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, those guys Yeah, are that's going to be the next thing is you're going to get your fat friend... To uh, take epicac and vomit on a craps table. <laughs> fucking epicac. You know, I had a thousand dollars on fucking boxcars, <laughs> motherfucker. Hey, Ralphie, we got a personal appearance. Ralphie, <laughs> we love you, Ralphie. I Ralphie took it, but the great Ralphie it's man. weird. There's no stage. No. You just have to play craps for twenty minutes. Ralphie, yeah, and just, it yeah. says eat eggs. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> all you can eat eggs. What what is yeah. this all about? <laughs> yeah, chase it with a quart of milk and fucking project. Projectile vomit. There it was go. unbelievable. Oh, you, uh, <laughs> all right, let's fucking yeah. wrap this up with the thank yous. We're going to just do the thank yous at the end. And I'm sorry if I forget. A lot of shit's coming in. Someone sent uh, Chad Shank. Yes. Let you know, Chad go through that stuff over there. All right, Chad. Look I'm just here. That. What do I got? That, that, like that, I, I, what do you, what do you, you read, read right the there? name on that note? No. Someone sent a badge. I bought a... a not a badge, but a patch. Uh, patch that says Stanhope Police from Stanhope, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. To, so on my uh, funhouse jacket, someone sent this Inman Police to Chad Shank. Should Inman ever show up? I just got my funhouse jacket back from the cleaners. I was going to put my uh, <laughs> put my, to the my fire department. It smells like fucking <laughs> campfire smoke every time I wear it oh, here. Uh, as opposed to that uh, Union, New Jersey chemical smoke that you get from smoking meth. Well, from fucking yeah, but I don't do that every day. I take a break from that, too. <laughs> That's what this is. So, yeah, uh, Inman police. But I don't know. South Carolina? That, is that what smell is? is a patch of its own. <laughs> I, we're trying to figure uh, out the name. He, he, M. Uh, it starts with an S, ends with an S. M. S. Yeah, it MS. was probably on the return address, but uh, fuck it. Uh, it's uh, going on my red jacket. Uh, oh, I'll wait for Tom Kanopka. Tom, uh, when you come back, remind me about the champion auto parts or whatever it is. The champion shirts. The shirts. Yeah. Oh, j- seeing you'll cut. You'll cut out the pause. Name. Yeah, champion shirts. Bill Augerman. Thank you, Bill. Good man. 
I yeah, there, some shit showed up the shirts, and he knew what it was about. I didn't. Yeah, no, he tweeted me. Said, People send me. Saying, I don't know if I ever brought up. Someone man, sent you, me a shitload of caviar. Did I ever bring that up? No, you really? did not. No, you got caviar, and I don't know who it was <laughs> like, from. In the little house. Oh, is it like, still there? Yeah. There's like 18 jars yeah, of it's a, caviar. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, like a shrink-wrapped like really? gift box thing. Yeah, wow. and wow. it was marked perishable that Tom <laughs> didn't know if he should open it or not, uh, even though we were up in Tucson at yeah. the hospital. Uh, I don't want to open his mail. Yeah. Tom's very timid to a fault when it's... It didn't come from a fucking refrigerator truck. I'm thinking it's did perishable it come, upon opening. Did it I come from a blood bank? No, it's, it's, <laughs> no, exactly. I didn't know. It, it, it's jarred caviar. And it's I've, still there. It's fine. still good, and we're going to tear it up yeah. at some point. I, I don't know if we save that for the Super Bowl. No, we got to do that private, but I don't know who likes cat. Thank you. Whoever sent me shitloads of jarred caviar, I fucking love you. And Ray from Massachusetts Ray. sent, where is it? This uh, giant... This wow, is, look at that. Oh. Jelly bellies. This is like a four pound. Christ. <laughs> 49 flavors. It's a four pound box. It is four Fuck. pounds. Yes. Four pounds of jelly bellies. Yeah. 49 flavors. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ray from Massachusetts. Right, right. I'll see you at the. Uh, oh, uh, hey, I found a plug. The Wilbur <laughs> Theater, April something. Sixth. Hey, no. Sixth. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, by the way, uh, Hennigan will be here tomorrow, and we'll get uh, the lowdown on everything that's going to... Like, right. I, like people ask me, are my tickets from the first show that got canceled good for the next... I don't know. Fucked so if I know. Henn Hennigan will be here. We'll do a he podcast with him, and we'll, we'll yeah. lay it all down. And then everything's Welcome getting back, rebooked Mr. for the well, California Everyone can just call the fucking place and figure it out. Yeah, yeah you would they think. Usually, they, they usually honor them, I think. One uh, would think. We'll find out. Yeah. Uh, Let's ask Joby to do I a ruling. Know. Yeah, Someone sent yes. Kenny a thing. <laughs> no, no, yeah. What, what was that? I never saw it. it was Kenny sitting came. Here for a week. Uh, it's from the Castle Netherlands. Rock, some oh, wow. uh, some guy named Tim, last name unpronounceable, from the Netherlands, <laughs> tried to bid on one of Kenny's paintings. Oh, that's he's right. Sold he on eBay. Me on the way up. And uh, that's cool. so he got one of those canvas picture photograph yeah. hang on your wall. It's a of. A screenshot of his losing bid yeah. of the painting. It was brilliant. <laughs> it was great. And, uh, with a, and then a nice put on your canvas as a yeah. as a painting. Yeah, yeah it was a frame. Great idea. Yeah, was yeah. Kevin, you showed me. He was uh, proud. Kenny, that was Kenny, fucking great. Kenny idea. was pissing himself with excitement. Exactly. Uh, should I leave it here and show everyone at football, <laughs> or should I bring it back and show my wife? And because just <laughs> yeah, show your wife and your kids. <laughs> Awkward day to say this. <laughs> it should go on my bathroom wall is where it should go. <laughs> well, no. It, it, <laughs> the found art goes. <laughs> he's uh, very happy. Thank you, yeah. Tim. Yeah. Someone from Lexington, Kentucky, or they, the wow, distributor is in Lexington, there. Kentucky, today showed up with these 80-pound boxes of mixers. I guess I must have said that on a podcast because <laughs> couple tonic. Hey, by the way, tonic water not so much. Club soda. <laughs> Club tonic soda. Tonic water is basically Seven Up. Uh, so we're gonna have to sell a lot of fucking tonic water, Tracy. <laughs> Super Bowl. Yep. Oh, there you go, Tracy. Vodka tonic. We gotta move this product. Yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, so I don't know who you are, but it came from Joe's Discount in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, Nashville Pussy sent us a bunch of fucking swag just for fun. Nashville Pussy. Check out Nashville Pussy. They're on a European tour. Go Nashville to their website. Pussy. Just Google it, motherfucker. Hey, maybe we change the website. Uh, oh, no, Judy, I thought you I thought you said I already talked about it. No, you talked about it in the podcast we didn't air. Or no, during the, the two-hour. The thanks. I thought I thanked her. No, it was the two-hour th <laughs> spot that we were trying to cut. No, finish your thought. I yeah, just want no, to let you no, know no. this was next. Okay, tell me. I, I thought you I <laughs> you were mocking me for not remembering this, no. so I thought I already did this. It was during the two Mock hours again, that we tried to do the 60-second spot. <laughs> That's when we talked about it. But I thought I did all the thank yous, so the thank yous I already threw away, I didn't didn't go out? No, no, those those went out in the podcast that all we right, did. Well, that, Judy, uh, what, what, uh, it wasn't Judy. Yeah. Judy's the author. It was a guy that sent me a hundred, yeah, we did talk about it Judy, because they Judy, wanted me Judy. to give this to Rogan. 
Yeah. And they bribed me a hundred bucks, Joe. but I didn't actually mention the author's name. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the book again? It's where, upside down. It's upside where, down. Where did the towers go? By Judy, where did the towers go? By Judy Wood. something Wood. Judy Wood. Wood. Judy, Wood. Judy, Judy Wood. Judy Wood. Judy Wood. Ned Wood, but I wouldn't. Oh, uh, hey, you got the fucking oh, Ed Wood in the middle, wait. so you stopped from the obvious. <laughs> it's a limerick book from Heather. From Heather. To Bingo. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's uh, Heather Squarejaw. I found the uh, note separately. She's Floyd's friend. She was down here. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, it's fucking uh, massive amounts of soda water and tonic water. Ugh, tonic water. <laughs> Maya. I don't, I don't know if I brought this up. Maya, I talked about a few podcasts ago. She was the one that uh, was very upset that her thank you got skipped. And I uh, made a big to-do about it on a podcast. Uh -oh. I remember. She sent me some digital download. Mm -hmm. And then I made fun of her... Neediness. Over and over and over on a podcast, and I, I, it was, I was, I was kind of mean to you, Maya. You mean bastard. And I also said that I don't even know how to do <laughs> digital downloads. <laughs> I'm, I'm an old dude. I don't. So, so what happened was she sent me a hard copy of the CD of the same musical comedian from, based on the cover, nineteen. 78 <laughs> London and uh, it sucked Maya <laughs> it, it sucked so much that we listened to about 30 seconds of three songs it was so unlistenable it was terrible I'm so happy that I didn't learn how to download things <laughs> digitally to hear that Fucking nonsense. <laughs> Just what I'm yeah. trying to say <laughs> is thank you. Yeah, Maya. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Maya. Maya, yeah, that's, yes. that, yeah, that's Maya's, uh, I mean, that's Stan Hope's way of thanking you, Maya. Yes, that's, that's, that's love. He hated it so much, he's thanking you for yes. it. Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember much to write it down on this pad. <laughs> hey, that's, that's a heavy fucking endorsement. Yes. All right. Maya. I think, uh, what, what, what do you get over there? Two Bibles. Bi two Bibles from Russell in Houston. He sent us like five during oh, 2016. Fucking Russell has died. I, Russell in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that's ingrained in my brain. I think he bought fucking seven things from eBay. He's, uh, yeah, Great. he's a good dude. All right, Russell. Good customer. Thank good you, man. Russell. Yes. Good man, Russell. He's a, he's a whale. He's a whale. There you oh, go. There you Fuck go. it. He Don't is. worry. Yeah, yeah, Don't like worry. Kanopka is going to reload. Yeah. He's going to be your reloader. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he put in the receipt from the, uh, the hotels.com. <laughs> the where he got it Where from. he got it from. <laughs> <laughs> so, he appropriated. Yeah. Oh, he's smart. Proof. Good. <laughs> At some point. Again, the same way you say, don't meet your heroes. Well, you, you don't don't meet your biggest fans because <laughs> <laughs> Russell from Houston. I could name others. The guitar guy. The guitar guy. Bill Nash. Bill, Bill Nash. Nash. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they send us so much shit, hey. and uh, I would if they were douchebags, I I would I would hate it. But they're not. So, well, that's why you don't meet them. Exactly. Don't meet your heroes and never exactly. meet your biggest fan. Exactly. I'm your biggest fan. I just yeah. want to drop by for a minute. <laughs> My <laughs> mom's going to uh, be on point. She's going to come by without a bra on. <laughs> I walk into your house. <laughs> Even my dog was afraid to bite her. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hey, kid from Alaska, I, I, may, I, I meant no disrespect to your no. mom. But, no. yeah, when someone just walks into yeah. your house, it's, it's kind of awkward. Gotta yeah. Through, Again? through your closed gate. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and giant fence. Yeah. With and, dogs barking. Yes. <laughs> Again, Stan Hope is thanking you. Yes. Is this where the comedian guy lives? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Big fan. Yeah, do a little, do a little sum. Be funny. Be funny. <laughs> Drop by the house and do, do a guest set. Do a quick ten. Jesus I don't man. think that's gonna happen. And my, I'm my, going to Safeway. Yeah. Hey, is pasta ready, Joby? 
Oh, oh, get into the oh, death God, pool. We love Joby. www.dscdp. Doug stand up celebrity death pool. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yes. Yeah. Doug Stanhope celebrity death pool. DSCDP. Officer, I have not been drinking whatsoever. Nope. <laughs> and let's play this out with. I guess Mishka. I uh, yeah, is yeah. do. Mishka's yeah. do. Mishka or Berkeley. Play Let's an obscure track by Mishka. Here's an obscure a, we, track. They have a, huh? the one where Chad Shank and I they play guitar and Chad Shank sings. There you that go. One? There yeah. you go. That's an idea for do sure. Do I have that? Well, here's okay, No, I got, I got, I got, I got. I, got, I, got, I, got, I yeah. like what you're doing because you I, 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 I tweeted I this today that, that in my book as I'm writing, I think I want to do very elaborate tongue twisters just to fuck oh, yeah. with Chad Shank <laughs> yeah, when he has to do the audio book. <laughs> so yes, come up with very obscure tracks, Joby, that he has to go sit down when he edits this <laughs> thing and find. <laughs> To fuck with Chad. We love Chad. Either yeah, way. Here's Mishka Shibali. This podcast is over. Mishka. The potato peelings in the sink did not turn into vodka as I had hoped. I only start to need a drink. After the liquor stores have closed You left a bunch of dirty Kleenex Underneath the mattress Like an unwanted batch of kittens Everybody's got secrets And I'm forgotten But I don't mistake it for forgiving Some of the girls in some of the movies that I watch sometimes. A woman calling on the telephone, losing patience. Her voice sounds like whiskey and milk. No, I can't pay the bill, but please call back. I got to know the children. Oh, well, uh, we're, bring that, we'll hey, bring that down mouth. to your mouth. La Pina. Pin, pina. Sorry. There you go. You want Don't the... worry, you can fuck it up a million times. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, we'll I'll, leave, I'll leave the mics open. Yeah. Not okay. like we'll actually know either. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just had to write it down so I remember it. Yeah. You're talking fucking whatever. All this word. All right. Go ahead. You want me to go? Hold on. 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 Hold on
Oh, this has got to be near your mouth. Look at dude. Chandler and me. I, 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 I thought it was. <laughs> it's not your job. Don't worry. It's my fault. Uh, I, I touch it. Uh, I hey, Doug, why don't you do a lead in? Like, and here, and our new sponsor yeah. or whatever, if you want yeah, to. Yeah, say Yeah, say Mio Migos. Ricardo. Is that Belgrade in uh, Serbia? Yes. That's their, that's their capital. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't da. know if that's who they da. thought. Yeah, da. Da. Yeah. Da. It da. Da. yeah, it's Mi Amigos and Mi Amigos and Casa Grande. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now our new voiceover expert. <laughs> no, that's not right. Uh. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, take a break and... Well, no, I already had Chad take us a break. But you, <laughs> you just need it. To... What's oh, the Paninis? What's the, no, no. Mi, uh, Mi, uh, Mi Amigos. Mi Amigos. Ricardos, yeah. Or just Ricardo. Just say Ricardo. Yeah. And now, tonight's sponsor, Ricardo's in Casa Grande, Arizona. No? That does Mi Amigos. Oh. Hey, well, it's, it's a full name. Everybody calls it Ricardo's. So oh. I'll, I'll have it in mind. All right. That's why I thought you was wrong. Because <laughs> you're going to you, say, I, I, I hope you're going to do it all again. this in that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You should, this Ricardo's has, you got to keep this shit rolling. This is yeah. better than anything. Yeah, we could well, if you say Ricardo's in the thing, then you should say Ricardo's in the beginning. But all right, it has to be the same, right? Because he's going to, he's going to, all right, talk. got it. I get it. Hey, but no well, pressure, let's go, dude. Let's go. All right. <laughs> and now a word from a sponsor, and, that, <laughs> and now a word from Ricardo's. In Casa Grande. Kako ste ljudi? Dolazi u Casa Grande za najbolji meksikski hranu. Mi amigo Ricardo's, 821 Florence Boulevard, 520-836-3858. Dolazi, ako volite tacos, burritos, enchiladas i stanhops naje special. Dolazi, ajde, najbolji meksikski. Ajde. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was good. Well, you get the address. Yep. I got the phone number, address, Ted. Looks what like the, you got it all. Actually, you need a pen? What you're going to do is now you're going to go big. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh, you want me to go? Now you're going to really go big. Really go big. That was good. Okay. You loved it. Awkwardly oh, pause on any... Uh, like, an like annunciation English, or something like English, that. English. Anything English. Okay. What's, what's well, like Boulevard? burritos, Florence Boulevard. <laughs> yeah, say it in English. Uh, Florence Boulevard. <laughs> Florence Boulevard. Remember, remember this. Any pauses in between, I'm taking that out of the way. So I'm so going to condense it anyway. So if you want to take a breath, yeah. take a breath, and then do a burst, and then take a breath, I will fix all that. We'll I'm full of hot air, so I can... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, you'll do it. Okay. So sell me! <laughs> sell me on Ricardo's! Tell me! <laughs> He's good. You're good. Oh, he's good? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I'm turning all the other mics off. So it's just you right now. Okay. Good. There you go. Kako ste ljudi? Dolazi u Casa Grande za najbolje meksički hranu. Mi amigo Ricardo's 821 Florence Boulevard. 520-836-3858. Ako volite tacos i burritos i enchiladas i stan hops especial, dolazi tamo. Voliches puno. Zdravo ljudi. And throw in uh, whatever would be the Bill Burr equivalent of go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but do it like, do it like thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Just you want th that part or you just want just, the hard? No, no. Just, just that part. Just but, that part. But, but, but like do like a, and remember. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Good, good, that was one. Oh, you know when you hear it, that was the fucking...